Hello, it's Frank Dirter for That One Web Guy, and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about how to do a social media meme. Um, I like to post quotes to my Instagram and uh, on my Facebook and things like that. I also post them on one of my fun sites as well. But one thing that I like to do, though, of course, is create my own memes. So uh, first thing I do, of course, is... Uh, you can create them, you can type them right into the software. Uh, I use very different ones, and I'll probably do a review on those later. Uh, I use one called Spark Post by Adobe. I use uh, WordSwag, and I also use one called, um, I think it's called Typeface or something like that. Um, and that's the one I'll be using today. But what I do is I... There are some tricks you can do if, if you've ever used Instagram, of course. The formatting, um, you just get what you get. You know, you type in there and you just get uh, just the words one after the other. There's no breaking or anything like that. So what I'm doing today is I've gone ahead and I usually set them up in my notepad uh, in I'm using the iPhone here, as you can see. Uh, so what I've done is I've already put in my hashtags that I normally use. I try to use a basic set of hashtags so they stay consistent with my posts. And I also have the follow at Frank Jerdorf, uh, which is my Instagram feed. And then I have the quote at the top. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to uh, select just the quote part, uh, just because I like to do it a little bit differently. So I'm going to select the, the quote. Just move that around. I'm going to click Copy. And I'm going to switch to the um, Typorama app, that's what it's called. And I'm going to select Instagram post. And it's going to bring up this uh, this feed here. And of course you can see we have a lot of different styles to choose from. Uh, but I'm going to uh, double click here. One thing that I like about this one is, and you'll see in just a minute, is the manipulations that I can do with the fonts. Now actually, I wish I could do all three of them combined, um, and I'll probably do some more search on other type social media type apps as well. I know there's many of them out there, but these are the three that I like best. So right now I'm just going to stick with this one. Um, this is how I want it set up. I'm going to click done and you can see it's here. It's impossible. Impossible is a word to be found only in dictionary fools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like that currently and I'm going to go ahead and get um, our picture. So if you look down here at the bottom, I'll click down here and you see that we have the background. And I have the option to choose for my photos, search from stock images or choose a color. Now, if I wanted to choose for my photos, I would come here and select, uh, you know, some of the different images that I have here or that I've taken. Uh, you can see the different posts that I've done, different events and things like that that I've attended recently. Uh, and I have some photos, images that I've taken, uh, some sunsets and things of that sort, or some even some images that I've drawn. So, but I'm going to just go to the stock photos today. So, in the stock images we can put in something um, I can put in dictionary to see what comes up uh, to see what kind of image we get and not fictionary you gotta spell it right dictionary and then I click go and you can see that we have these here that have popped up um, none of those really stand out to me right off uh, some possible that we could do here um, but I can go if I click into Unsplash, a site I like to use as well. They have two options here: either Pictionary or the um, Pixabay or Unsplash. Those are the two options. So we can do either option here. Um, sometimes if you scroll up, it'll try to load more. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of images to choose from here. Um, we could do a background if we so choose. Uh, so we can um, let me go ahead and go back to Pixabay one more time to see if there's any. I was looking for maybe something with some words that was kind of blurred out. And we can change that ourselves, actually. Uh, but nothing nothing really stands out that looks really cool for me. Um, so we'll just go with a, a background. So we have different backgrounds here that we can choose. Or we can put in, uh, I wanted to go with maybe a blue background. Go. Not a whole lot to choose from there. Unsplash, we have some. We could even go with, uh, you know, I try to use the keywords. We could try fools as well to see what comes up. Um, I kind of like some of those blue backgrounds, but let's just see what happens here. I might get some kind of silly. Uh, yep, D definitely don't want a jester there. Um, let's go with Unsplash. 
And of course, half the battle is trying to find an image that looks like we want. Something just happened to the app there. Let's go back to the blue backgrounds. Now, blue is not my favorite color. It's not bad, but my favorite colors are orange or gray. Um, so we could go with that. Now let's go to Unsplash. And just try to find something that looks appealing for what we're doing right now. Let's go with this one here. It looks doesn't look bad. So it's going to put that in the background of our image. Um, we can change, we can do some filters or overlays. So we can kind of modify it a little bit if we want. Um, that made it dark. We can change the intensity of the filter. What I want to do is kind of um, adjustments, change the vibrancy of it. I'm actually wanting to make it a little bit lighter. Saturation. You see we have a lot of uh, different possibilities that we can choose for, from here. And I think on the text it might look better if I chose um, a white color. We can soften that a little bit. Um, and we can go ahead and I'm going to move this up a little bit and make it a little bit bigger. And one of the things I like about this one is we have some options. You notice I have the opacity where I can actually change the the how dark or how vibrant the colors are or how much you can see through the text. Um, so I like to darken that just a little bit so you can get some of the grain of the image behind it. But I also like to add a little bit of a shadow to make it pop up off the, the image so that it kind of stands out a little bit more there. So we can then, uh, what I like to do is I use a different font for the the author or the the you know who made the quote so what I do is I add another text section I just click the plus there at the top I'm gonna double click and this one was actually Napoleon Bonaparte and I'll put a dash in front of it there click done now I don't want it I could we can make it you know but the same font if we want a lot of times I like to give it one of these um, handwritten fonts or something of that sort um, doesn't really stand out as much there let's try permanent marker that doesn't look too bad we can kind of go that route if we wanted to uh, we could change the, the gradient if we wanted or we could go to uh, color change the opacity um, I definitely don't want the gradient so we're going to disable the gradient so we could go that way if we wanted to uh, bring that down just a little bit and let me change that just a little bit more change the color and that doesn't look too bad doing it that way so I'm just gonna leave it that way and so the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna click OK share now we can go directly to Instagram if we want um, I don't always like the way that, that imports, so I'm just going to click save right now. And that should save it right to my my phone. And I'm going to go to then Instagram um, next. Yes, I have a lot of apps on my phone. So I'm going to go to Instagram here. Click the plus, and it already, it already loads the first image that we have there. Um, so I'm going to click that. And with Instagram, of course, if you're familiar with the filters, there are several different filters we can play around with. Uh, we can um, scroll through there, see if there's anything that uh, I'd usually just see if it makes the font or the text stand out just by switching the the different settings. Um, of course, we have these different ones that kind of change the the look of the image, uh, makes the text a little more um, not as white. So we're going to go ahead and leave it at this one if we want, and then the next thing to do is click next. And it says write our caption. Now this is where I was telling you if we were to uh, write our text in here, um, we would just get this and it would just keep going in a line. So what I like to do is I'll go back to my notepad and I will select everything here. Select all and then click copy. And then I just come back here and as I said, it'll paste. It'll keep the formatting, 
um, as I have it. You can see we have, it's hard to get a return you know, because there is no return keys. Um, so I add some things like that to allow the spacing. Um, I have my preset hashtags there, but I might want to add a few more. So um, fools, let me do a hashtag impossible. Um, just words. Put in impossible again to see what war their suggestions are. Um, impossible, impossible foods, impossible is nothing. Um, you know, so you can add different things like that. Um, let's go ahead and add dictionary because I mentioned that in there. Spell it right. Thank you. At Instagram. And then once we're done, we just click share and it'll pop it up there and in just a moment and we'll have our post there we go and we have our post and it'll start uh, you know start getting hits then so that's the quickest way that I have found to create an Instagram post or start using social media uh, to create your own memes and things of that sort uh, there's different ways to do it but you know I like to do the motivational quotes and positive quotes and sometimes I do a funny quote on Friday or uh, words of wisdom on Wednesday and stuff like that so um, just thought I'd add that and I hope you found this video useful uh, check out my site at frankdeerdorf.com or you can also uh, click the subscribe button and click the bell there to make sure that uh, you get notified when I add a new post uh, thank you and I talk to you soon